Now for a look at the stories making headlines around the world. We start with U.S. President Donald Trump and his famous, or shall we say infamous, Twitter account. On Wednesday, he retweeted three anti-Muslim vi uh, videos posted by the deputy leader of a British far-right group, sparking strong backlash from home and abroad. With more on this and other stories, we turn to our Noah Adam. So let's start with the Trump story then, Adam. What kind of reactions are we seeing? Well, Mark, the retweet has prompted a rare rebuke from British Prime Minister Theresa May. Her spokesman said it was wrong for the president to have done this. Uh, the videos posted by the deputy leader of Britain First, Jada Franson, show a group of Muslims destroying a Christian statue, pushing a boy off a roof and attacking a disabled man. May's spokesman added that Britain First used hateful narratives and lies. But the White House defended Trump's actions, saying he was talking about national security threats. Look, I'm not talking about the nature of the video. I think you're focusing on the wrong thing. The threat is real, and that's what the president is talking about, is uh, the need for national security, the need for military spending, uh, and those are very real things. There's nothing fake about that. Does the president, president Trump's tr uh, retweets were also strongly condemned by Muslim and Arab groups in the U.S. and the U.K. It's not the first time for Trump to weigh in on the, Britain, on the British religious-tinged political issues using Twitter. He had previously accused London Mayor Sadiq Khan of mishandling a terrorist attack, and he also blamed the rise in crime rates in England and Wales to the, quote, spread of radical Islamic, Islamist uh, terror.